Uh, uh, the, uh, we start to talk about intrusion detection systems, and we talked about last time. We talked about two topics: honeypots. We uh, mentioned the, the purpose of honeypots uh, to lure the attacker towards uh, an uncritical uh, network location where uh, they can go in, and we can collect information. And also, we talked about password management. Uh, password management is the first line for, of defense uh, in any system, and we talked about uh, the SALT technique uh, for um, increasing the security level of uh, passwords uh, by adding uh, the SALT as arbitrary random uh, number that increases the, uh, the complexity of uh, crypto analysis for uh, the password. The last topic for this chapter, which is not included in the book, by the way, so this part is not even included in the book, um, uh, is for security risk evaluation. Uh, so how do, we, how do we define what uh, security risk is and how do we evaluate, calculate uh, for any system, how can we calculate the security risk, quantify it? Um, uh, and uh, we do this for a node or for uh, the network as a whole. So first, what is the risk? What is the absolute definition of the word risk? Risk is the possibility or the probability of losing or damaging something of, of value. This is the definition of a risk. Okay, so something of value, uh, uh, like, uh, I don't know, like a safe in a bank or something like this. What is the risk of uh, 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 losing that valuable thing? So that's what we call a, a risk. So a security risk on the other side, what is, is what is the probability uh, uh, to lose or damage an asset as a result of a certain vulnerability in the system. So if you have a vulnerability in the system, uh, so this vulnerability will add some risk. So for example, if you, uh, if you use a weak password, this is now a vulnerability. So first of all, does the system allow a user to have a weak password or not? So nowadays we have systems that restrict some policies on the password. They have to be this, they have to be that, in order to make sure that passwords are not weak. Okay? So assuming that there is certain vulnerability in the system and someone has a weak password, what is, what is the risk in that case? Okay? So this is what we call a, a, a risk, which is... Uh, if, if you have like a weak password, this is a vulnerability now. Based on this vulnerability, you can have like multiple threats. You can have uh, uh, someone to log on to impersonate your account, someone to uh, 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 really reveal some information using your account that they are not allowed to access. Uh, they can perform some attacks to our system and so on. These are group of threats that they can introduce by having this vulnerability, okay? So we want to be able to evaluate and quantify this risk. The risk is uh, what is the probability of, uh, 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 of losing or damaging <clears throat> the system if you have a certain vulnerability. So this risk is defined by two terms, okay? It's, it's defined by two terms. What is the impact? The impact here varies based on the fact that, okay, so if you have, uh, مثلا, a weak password, it depends if this weak password is, مثلا, for uh, uh, Blackboard, okay, or for uh, a system like uh, your bank account, okay? So uh, if, uh, so the impact varies depending on the actual value of, uh, of this node or this system, okay? And also, uh, the probability, here the probability is that the probability of the attacker being able to use that vulnerability. So, so if, you, if you have a weak password, what is the chance that uh, an attacker can use that weak password? Okay, what is, the, what is the probability? So if you have a weak password, one, two, three, four, this means that there is very high chance that an attacker, high chance, معناها مثلا 0.9. Okay, uh, uh, point 0.9, which is the probability that any attacker can, in fact, uh, 
use that password. This will, uh, will, uh, will vary depending on how weak the password is. Like for example, one, two, three, four is different from, uh, masalan, any other compound password and so on. So the idea here is that if you have a very high impact uh, system, like if you have uh, something really that has big, big value, huge value, like for example, you have a database that contains a bank, a bank account, okay? Then you try to reduce that probability to almost zero, okay? So the, the probability here would be almost zero by having very, very high and strict uh, password, which is not less than like 12 characters and so on, and so that you make some uh, strength to uh, the password in order to make this probability very low. So in that case, you minimize the risk. Okay, so if something for, uh, yani has, that has a big value, then you try to minimize that, that probability. So if something is, is, uh, has less value, okay, so you are trying to access a system that has yani, some information. But this information is not confidential, it's not critical. So in that case, you don't really yani, care so much about the strength. So in that case, even if the probability is a little bit high, it's the, the, risk, the risk is still low because the impact here is low. Okay, so these are the two components that control how we evaluate uh, the risk. So the impact here is the consequence of the bad event that happens to that system or that node. So if an attack, if an attack correctly uh, guesses a pen code, pen code the masalan can be used for, for uh, your bank account. So in that case, the impact is really high, okay? And here the probability is the probability for successful exploitation of a vulnerability, okay? Leading to an attack. So risk of losing money in a, in a bank account because of a weak PIN code, assuming that you have a very, very weak PIN code, like let's say 0000, something like that. So this is a very weak PIN code, which increases the chance of an attacker being able to exploit that, that pain code easily, okay? And you have, you have a, 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 the impact or the value of that account depending on how much money you have, okay? So here we are selecting the model that the impact is based on how much money you have in this account. Let's say you have 100,000 uh, Qatari Riyal, so in that case the risk is, uh, uh, there is a very high chance that you can lo lose uh, 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 90,000 because of this uh, weak uh, pin code, okay? So this is how we quantify uh, uh, a risk. So uh, in any node bar, in any node, we could have multiple vulnerabilities, one or more vulnerabilities. Each, each vulnerability can cause certain threats, like threats to, for reveal some uh, confidential information or a, a risk that you can spoof or impersonate uh, a person. Or different types of uh, threats which are caused by certain vulnerability, okay? So how do we quantify the risk given the fact that you have multiple vulnerabilities and each vulnerability can cause different types of threats? So this is what we want to, to, uh, uh, to see or to calculate. So in the context of security, a security risk, in the past, in the previous slide, we talked about general risk, okay? Here, we talk about security by risk. Uh, the security risk by is given by the product of the impact and the exploitability, okay? The exploitability of a vulnerability. Vulnerability here means that you have something vulnerable. يعني معناها, مثلاً, you have a weak password or you have a, a, a weak key, مثلاً. You are using a key which is, يعني, again, it's very simple to guess. So any kind of crypto analysis uh, can, uh, can get that key in no time and, and so on. So the impact here is the consequence of a security attack where a vulnerability has been successfully exploited. The impact is derived from the value of the asset. So uh, here we talk about uh, a security risk. معناها security, for risk for uh, a database server. And this database server contains very criti critical information. It's different from like another server which, for contains uh, some uh, 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 authentication information for users. It's different from another server 
that uses مثلا web service ماشي uh, so the type of uh, uh, service on the node uh, dictates how valuable the asset of that node is ماشي so exploitability بقى talks about the fact that the chance of an attacker being able to use that vulnerability and that depends on how يعني ايه how how easy it is to use that vulnerability okay so uh, a measure of how easy it is for an attacker to successfully exploit that uh, vulnerability so again depending on this vulnerability so again a weak password is different from a weak uh, key is different from uh, a weak uh, protocol uh, a protocol that sends some exchange messages back and forth and it allows مثلا for denial of service attack so if uh, if any uh, 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 any person sends a request to this system there's no authentication and uh, we can facilitate some kind of denial of service attack so that's that that varies from one vulnerability to another for example it's easier to correctly guess a weak password than it is to guess a strong password so again depending on uh, how weak or how strong the password is the exploitability itself varies right so if we use a, a very uh, weak uh, password then uh, chances will be high for an attacker to to exploit Uh, that weak password and in that case uh, get uh, access to the system uh, on your behalf type so so how so but then how can we know these uh, vulnerabilities but and how can we find these vulnerabilities so the here in, in, in our case here it's easy so there are some databases public databases uh, that lists all the vulnerability of a certain product or vendors okay so um, so first uh, 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 the the security risk of a single node a node itself may have multiple uh, vulnerabilities right so a node may have multiple vulnerabilities depending on for example what is the operating system running on this node what type of applications and so on so uh, this node runs multiple services maybe it runs windows operating system windows 10 it runs some uh, مثلا web web service and so on so depending on uh, the products running on this node there are multiple vulnerabilities so there is a vulnerability in the operating system there is a vulnerability in the web service or apache مثلا web server there is a vulnerability in in, in different applications so a node may have multiple vulnerabilities each vulnerability can cause different threats some vulnerability causes the fact that you can uh, uh, مثلا uh, have a, a, a incorrect access to somebody's account which is we call it spoofing or we call it ان احنا we uh, authenticate ourselves in a place of another person okay so this is called spoofing okay some vulnerabilities can uh, really facilitate some denial of service attack some vulnerabilities can facilitate some kind of uh, uh, مثلا integrity or uh, uh, integrity issues like for example we tamper or we can change uh, the the content of the message easily by doing مثلا reply, replay attack or or we can modify uh, the data and so on okay so a node depending on the products or depending on the applications that run on this node may have multiple vulnerabilities vulnerability in windows vulnerability in the web server vulnerability in certain application and so on so all these vulnerabilities they cause certain threats and based on these vulnerabilities and the threats we we need to calculate by the overall risk on a specific node okay so the risk of this node so so uh, 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 so in the beginning vulnerability information is obtained through documentation sources such as the following database so these public databases they contain all the list of vulnerabilities of all the products ماشي يعني you can you can look up مثلا vulnerability in windows uh, 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 10 version xyz okay um, so these are two websites that contains all the vulnerabilities for all the products so depending now on a node a node مثلا that runs windows 10 and on top of windows 10 it runs مثلا web service and so on so depending on this we can say that okay so all these vulnerabilities are valid or are uh, 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 yani uh, 
existing in that particular node. Maybe? The key characteristics of a vulnerability is that it's uh, the product. The product is like Windows 10, uh, Apache web server, things like that. So this is the set of product software where the vulnerability is applicable. So here, if you access this database, you will see a list of, a, of products, okay? And in each product, the, the vulnerabilities that exist in that product. Uh, the exploitability score, uh, it's, it's what we have defined before. Based on this vulnerability, what is the, a, the exploitability, which is the chance of an attacker being able to use that vulnerability? Okay, or the probability of an attacker being, if, how easy it is for an attacker to exploit that vulnerability. And that depends on what type of vulnerability it is, as we said. Okay, a weak password, different from a weak key, different from a weak protocol, different from, and, and so on. Okay. The impact, the impact score bar is based on some business requirements. It's not based on the product. So the, the impact score here, it's not based on the product. Yani Windows 10 itself has no value, but Windows 10 has a very, very strong value if it's used as part of a banking system. Right? So this is the difference between the impact source and the, uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, exploitability of a certain vulnerability. Exploitability of a certain vulnerability, this is associated to the product itself. But here, the impact score depends on business requirements. So the business, the business requirements says that, okay, so uh, Windows 10 is being used for a banking system. It's different from the fact that, for we use a, 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 a Unix system, okay, uh, for, for for teaching. So in that case, the impact is different, okay? And the, here, the impact is, is, is based on the business value or the business requirements of using that particular product. The threats, the threats, as we said, that this vulnerability facilitates, facilitates or enables certain threats. So for example, a weak password, will definitely allow for spoofing. Masa spoofing معناها ان هو a person can access your account on your behalf. So they can spoof your identity. Okay? They can steal your identity. Uh, uh, so a threat could مثلا facilitate denial of service. A, th a threat معناها this vulnerability can facilitate uh, uh, مثلا tempering or affect the integrity or affect the confidentiality, okay, and so on. So these threats, they have to be defined based on certain models. So what are the threat model that you, that you are using? Here, we, here, in that part, we will use a very famous threat model that defines all the, the threats that we need to take into account. Uh, uh, not all these threats are caused by one vulnerability. Some of them are facilitated by one vulnerability, and some of them are not affected. So we'll see that. Mexico. So the, the, these are the key characteristics for a vulnerability. Again, based on the product, we can calculate the exploitability or the chance of an attacker being able to use that vulnerability, and the impact, which is calculated based on business requirements or business impact. So, It depends, but it depends. It has a value. For us, we don't care about the unit. Maybe? Now we give you an example about their bank account. Maybe? But in the end, this unit is unit. This as the uh, this impact score can be unitless. We can we don't have to consider the unit. But so it's it's just a weight. It's an impact score. We give it a weight. Maybe? And this weight depends on how valuable this asset is. And again, this is not defined by the product. It's defined by the business, the business requirements. Maybe? So Windows 10 itself has no value. But Windows 10 as part of a server that's used 
as part of a banking system, okay, so that's, that has a very, very critical value. ماشي؟ فهمنا كده؟ So, uh, so the threat model, so forget about this equation, we'll talk about, we'll talk about how we calculate. So the threat model that we, uh, that we use as part, as, uh, as part of this is what we call stride. Stride is one of the very well established, which I, I think is developed by MIT. And it's very simple. Stride here, S stands for spoofing. Spoofing identity معناها ايه؟ someone is spoofing your identity. معناها someone مثلا is gaining access to your account on your behalf. Okay? Or someone is sending a request, okay, using uh, uh, your IP to the server. So somehow someone tries to use the IP on your machine and send a request from another machine as if he has the same IP address so that he can, uh, you know, uh, uh, replace your identity and so on. Yes, So this is spoofing. Tampering uh, uh, someone is able to change the content of the message or to do some kind of replay attack. Anything that has to do with the integrity. ماشي? So that's a one possible uh, threat. Repudiation law A, someone can uh, claim that uh, uh, he did not actually send that request even though he did. Well, this is related to non repudiation. Uh, again, this is guaranteed by something like uh, MAC, law uh, message authentication codes. So if, if the message has the message authentication codes and we can verify that the person is Muhammad, so Muhammad cannot say that, no, I didn't, I didn't send that. No, you did. Because nobody else can send this MAC code by, uh, uh, except you. Uh, I stands for information disclosure or confidentiality. يعني. Information disclosure means information is revealed, uh, so which has to do with the, the, the confidentiality. D stands for denial of service attack. Okay. And uh, uh, E stands for elevation of privilege. So this is, this is that related to authorization. Authorization is different from authentication, as we said. Authorization is based on the access level that you have. Okay? So someone is trying to use a user account, and then, based on this user account, they are trying to change some configurations in the system to make the user level elevated to an administrator level. Okay? So there is a vulnerability in the system that allows someone like there was a vulnerability in, in, in previous versions of Windows, uh, and we played this uh, with ITS. So sometimes ITS, they give us uh, the laptops, and they, the laptops, they have user defined based on our account, and this user has, of course, user privilege on the, on the laptop. So we tell them, no, we need administrator privilege because we want to, uh, to set up some software. Okay? So they say, no. So, but, the, but there is a, a user defined on Windows uh, that has administrator account. So there was a very simple vulnerability in Windows that allows you to change the password of the administrator account on the laptop. Okay? Even though you don't know the password, but if you change the password, you can. That's a clear vulnerability that causes the fact that I can elevate my access or authorization on the system to be able to use the admin account. So that's an example of a vulnerability that existed in Windows, which allowed me to do a elevation of privilege. Okay, of course that has been fixed on, uh, but this is an example. So uh, a vulnerability that existed in the Windows operating system, which allows you to cause some threats in that one or more of these threats in the system. Okay? Maybe. So, depending on what system we're talking about, we have some impact score or some either yeah, the value of that system. If I do this on my own laptop, it's different from if I do this on a, a, the database uh, a server that contains all the information of QU. So the value is different, of course. Okay? So now we have a Vulnerability. Vulnerability causes some uh, exploitability. Exploitability means 
based on this vulnerability, it is very easy, or it's, it's not easy, for any attacker to use that vulnerability. Okay? And based on this vulnerability, you have uh, 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 an impact score that def that's defined by the business requirement, and this vulnerability causes certain threats, and the threats is one or more of these uh, 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 threats that we talked about. Maji, denial of service, exactly. Okay, an example. Ba. So we'll talk about a, 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 a well-defined example. So you have a medical record system. Medical record system that has multiple hosts. You have host one, host two, host three. Host one is in fact a web server, okay? And this web server contains two virtual machines: virtual machine one and virtual machine four. Uh, host two is is what we call the authentication server. يعني مثلاً زي الكربر سيستم كلا. This is the authentication server. Anyone can. Authenticate themselves against that server, and this server again contains two virtual machines, virtual machine two and virtual machine five. Okay, and this of course contains the database where uh, uh, all the account information of the users are stored. Okay, and there is by a another server which is host three, and in that case, host three contains one virtual machine, virtual machine three, and it has database server that contains by all the information for other. Services, for like Blackboard, classes, things like that. Okay, so that's a distributed system. Uh, in that case, it's part of a medical. It doesn't have, yeah, any application. You can think of it as any application, actually. So now we want to be able to calculate by the risk. The risk of, yeah, uh, 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 for example, the risk of one node, the risk of one full host. The risk of, for using certain functionality, ماشي. So this topic is actually large, but for our case, I will stop at just evaluating, being able to evaluate the risk for one single node only. Because we can complicate and say, okay, so what about if I know the risk of one single node? What is the risk of the entire uh, host? It's actually the summation of both, ماشي. But what is the risk, for example, of doing certain functionality in this system? I want to be able to use a certain workflow in this system. I want to authenticate myself, and then I want to access, for example, data related to Blackboard. What is the risk in this particular path? So based on this function, I will tell you, okay, so you need first access to this. So you involve the risk of the uh, authentication server. And you need to access the database server, so you need to uh, account for the risk for both of these servers. Imagine? So the idea is that if we know the risk of one virtual machine, we should be able to, uh, to calculate and quantify the risk for one host or one path or uh, uh, multiple hosts and so on. Okay? So, so that's what we want to do. So again, from, from this database, uh, these are public database, so we can get the list of vulnerabilities. So, for example, virtual machine one, and we said virtual machine one and virtual machine four, these are, <laughs> these are used as part of the web server host. Ashi? Virtual machine two and virtual machine five, these are used as part of a authentication server host. Okay, and virtual machine three is uh, is the database uh, server. Ashi? So. Now, virtual machine one uses Windows 10. Okay, so as part of the uh, the Windows 10, okay, and the web server, we have one vulnerability. This is the number or the identifier of that vulnerability. Maybe certain vulnerability. Let's say, مثلاً, مثلاً, uh, uh, there is no strict policy on the password, which is what I said, or there is no possibility or no policy that. Uh, the one who changes the password should be, for should have an admin access, something like that. Meshi. So this is a certain vulnerability. This vulnerability, based on this server, has uh, an impact based on the web service. But Meshi has an impact of 3.6. Again, forget about the unit. The unit could be anything. Meshi. And the exploitability or the probability, okay, 
of being able to use that vulnerability is 0.22. That depends on what? It depends on how easy any attacker can exploit this vulnerability. So if you have, again, password 1, 2, 3, 4, so here the probability will be high that any attacker can guess this easily. Imagine? So this, is, this uh, shows the exploitability or how easy it is for any attacker to successfully guess this or successfully utilize this uh, vulnerability. Imagine that? And based on this vulnerability, it affects D. D lay a part of the stride. D here. So the effect of this vulnerability can cause some threat or on the denial of service. Okay? Type. Uh, virtual machine 2, which again is part of the authentication server, has two vulnerabilities based on the products that run on this particular virtual machine. Has two, two vulnerabilities here. Okay? So the first vulnerability has an impact of 3.6, and the other one has an impact of 5.9. And the, this vulnerability has an exploitability of 0.22. This one has an exploitability of 1. Yeah, this is a very critical, uh, which is yeah, the example that I just talked about. If you try to, uh, to change the password, you can, you can do that. OK? So what is the pro? It's 1. Yeah, anyone will try to, uh, to, to change the password, they are allowed to do this. So here, the probability is one. Okay, very high probability. Imagine. And this, in fact, affects, by a, affects tampering. Tampering is, again, related to integrity. Uh, information disclosure is related to confidentiality. And again, the denial of service. OK? It doesn't cause spoofing. Imagine. It doesn't, goes, uh, it doesn't cause the elevation of privilege. So this causes a TID. So depending on the letter, you know what kind of threats are facilitated through that vulnerability. Similarly, VM3 has, has certain product. Based on this product, you have certain vulnerability and so on. These vulnerabilities are listed, again, in public databases. These are vulnerabilities of products. Like Windows, it has certain vulnerabilities and so on. So what we care about is these numbers, really. So now, in order to be able to Calculate the impact of a node. The impact of a node. A node is like a virtual machine. So the impact of a virtual machine is, in fact, the summation of the impact of the vulnerabilities that are on this machine. So, for example, the vulnerability of, sorry, so, sorry the impact of VM1, it's a 3.6. The uh, impact of VM2 is a, La, 3.6 plus 5.2, because there are two vulnerabilities in that case. Imagine. So the impact is the impact of all the, the vulnerabilities that exist on this virtual machine. Imagine. Type. So, so this is the impact, and it's easy. So I get all the vulnerabilities on this node or virtual machine, and I get the summation of all of them. So this is what this equation shows. Very simple. Imagine. When it comes to the, the, the probability or the exploitability, this is actually the probability. This is probabilities. Type. So what is the, the, the probability that an attacker will be successful in, in, in doing certain type of attack, any attack, on, uh, uh, on, on machine virtual machine 2? OK? So in that case, the successful attacker may, in fact, use that vulnerability or use that vulnerability or use both. Imagine. The probability of using this or the probability of using this or the probability of using, using both, the probabilities will be multiplied. to the statistics, right? So assuming, assuming, we have the, the, the probability of using the vulnerability 1 is P1, and the vulnerability uh, 2 is P2, OK? So in that case, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the exploitability for, for node VM2, it's actually either I use P1, I use yani, the first vulnerability with the probability P1, or I use the second pro vulnerability with probability V2, or 
I use both. صح كده؟ صح؟ So that's that's how I calculate the uh, 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 the the probability or the exploitability of a certain node is by considering the probability of each individual vulnerability. ماشي؟ طيب. Assuming that you have about ten different uh, if you have about ten different vulnerabilities on one machine, can you do this? صعب صح؟ اوكي سو انذر يعني برضه تريك ذات وي هاف ليرند ان ستاتستكس از تو تراي تو لوك ات ذا كومبلمنت ذا كومبلمنت رايت؟ ا كومبلمنت اوف ا سيرتن ايفنت اوكي؟ سو اف اي تيل يو ذا بروبابيلتي اوف مثلا اتاكينج 10 ديفرنت فولنرابيلتيز از اول ذا كومبينيشنز رايت؟ سو يو تيل مي اوكي سو ذيس از وان ماينس Okay, the probability of not being able to use all of them, صح? Which is what this equation tries to say. So this equation tries to say, okay, what is the what what is the what is the probability that the attacker will will fail or will not be successful? It's actually the probability that he will not be able to use any of the of the vulnerabilities, صح? Any of them, okay? Which is a basically the probability the one minus the probability of the first the first vulnerability one minus this one minus this and get the product of all of them, which is this one this term. So this term means this is the probability of an attacker failing to use any of these vulnerabilities. Well, here, okay. So if I take one minus this, so this is the the probability of being successful. And this is uh, much better than saying, okay, so I will use, I can use the first uh, vulnerability, second, third, and then one and two, and then one and two and three, and then one and two and three and four, and, and so on, right? So instead of doing all of this, we say one minus the, the probability of failure on all the vulnerabilities, which is basically one minus beta V, okay? So يعني, basically, if we take VM2, what is, what is the uh, lambda? What, sorry, what is mu on VM2? Okay, it's one minus, again, one minus 0.22 times one minus one. صح كده؟ تمام؟ تمام؟ One minus one is zero. Zero times any one is zero. So this is a Other than this, if you don't have multiple vulnerabilities, so خلاص, يعني the the probability stays the same because it's one vulnerability, so the probability stays the same. ماشي ماشي كده واضح any any ماشي so this is the impact and this is the probability. What we are trying to say is that this vulnerability will cause certain type of threat or group of threats. كويس طيب if if it causes certain type of threats or group of threats what is the weight on each one of them a weight معناه ايه what is the the impact of doing uh, for example tampering what is the impact of doing information disclosure what is the impact of doing denial of service attack and so on ماشي طيب look here we see that on this vulnerability We have denial of service, but do we have spoofing? We don't have spoofing. معناها, this particular vulnerability does not cause any spoofing threat. ماشي? But based on... ماشي? طيب. What is by a... When we say that, again here, calculate that impact? Well, luckily... You don't have to do it because, again, it's based on some business requirements. It's based on some business requirements. We're talking about a web server in a specific enterprise. Okay, it depends. But if you, if you do, for tampering, how how impactful it is compared to if you do, for denial of service. If you do this, if you do this, based on a business requirements. So, in a nutshell, يعني, this table, 
you will get it because I mean it's not your job to calculate the 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 weight of each of these threats. But as you can see, when we say here, مثلا, you you have some weight on S and you have some weight on uh, 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 on each of these denial of service. We have some weight, and here we have spoofing, right? But one thing we notice here, one thing we notice is that based on the vulnerability that exists in Windows 10 on this server, we, we have certain weight on spoofing, right? But, but in business requirements, there is certain weight on spoofing. Imagine. So how do we buy it? How do we يعني, group both? So we'll see. So one thing we notice here as well is that the weight, the weight, the summation of the weights for all the striped threats is always one. And it must be one. Okay? So based on the business requirements, I'm saying that based on the business requirements, the spoofing has an impact of 0.4 or weight of 0.4. And the denial of service has a weight of 0.6. Okay? This is regardless of any vulnerability, regardless of anything. This is based on business requirements only. Maybe based on the importance of this server. Maybe so the, the the vulnerability that we have causes some denial of service, but it does not cause any any spoofing. Maybe so that's the situation right now. So basically, so what you will be given is the list of vulnerabilities with all the impact and the probability and the weights of the stride threats. Najee, this is based on the public database which exists on the internet based on these vulnerabilities. And this is based on the business requirements or the business A logic. Najee, from the, these two, we are requested to calculate this table, Najee, which is bad to quantify the risk. So uh, here, we want to quantify the risk of this entire node. And here the risk, again, is two components. The impact and the probability or the exploitability. The impact is basically the summation of the impact of all the vulnerabilities that exist on this server. And the exploitability is basically one minus the probability of failure on all these uh, 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 vulnerabilities which is what we calculated in the previous slide, okay? Based on these uh, two, we can calculate the risk by simply multiplying these two. So, for example, here, on VM1, basically, it's uh, 3.6. The impact is 3.6, صح? And exploitability is 0.22, the same. Because here, we have only one, one vulnerability only, okay? So, it becomes simple. Maybe. Similarly, if we talk about v, uh, VM3, VM4, VM5, you will see that they are very straightforward. The one that requires a little bit of care is, a, is VM2 because it has two vulnerabilities. Okay? So if it has two vulnerabilities or three or four, then the impact is actually the summation of the impacts for both, which is in that case 9.5, which is the summation of 3.6 plus 5.9. Okay, so this is a 9.5, right? And this number, which is the exploitability, it's based on the fact that we, we say 1 minus 1 minus 0.22 times 1 minus 1. Okay, 1 minus 0.22, which is this, and 1 minus 1, which is this. 1 minus 1 is 0, so here it becomes 1. Okay, okay. Okay. So this is very easy. So we know how to calculate these values now. It's very easy, very straightforward. Imagine. So here, ba, we want to calculate the risk, okay, of causing a particular threat based on this vulnerability. And this is very, very easy. All we need to do is just to, to multiply this number by this number by the weight. Imagine. So, for example, on VM1, the risk of having spoofing is basically 3.6 times 0.22 times 
ماشي ذيس از ايه 0.32 بس ذاتس ات اوف كورس ذا ريست اوف ذا ريست از زيرو اند هير اجين تو تو نو ذا ذا ريسك اوف كوزنج ا دينايل اوف سيرفيس اتاك اون في ام 1 از بيزيكلي ايه 3.6 تايمز 0.22 تايمز 0.6 ذيس از ايه 0.48 ماشي And of course, if you if you get the summation of this, and as we said, the summation of all these weights has to be one. So the summation of these two is basically 3.6 times 0.22, which is a, which is 0.8. سهل الموضوع, very straightforward, صح? Very straightforward, مفوش أي حاجة يعني. And she, all we need to just pay attention to in a way, because if we have multiple, uh, 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 يعني vulnerabilities, we need to be Careful when we calculate both the impact and the exploitability or the probability of successful attack. So now it's very easy to calculate this table. Very easy. We know how to do it. But we need to, a, to correlate because we said that despite the fact that the, the vulnerabilities here, okay, they have certain weights on the stride threats. However, The vulnerability that exists does not have any effect on the spoofing, right? Gibnam min, gibnam min, min im hina. It has some effect on on denial of service, sah, but it doesn't have any effect on spoofing. So, in fact, this means what? This means that the vulnerability, the risk that we calculated, is in fact not. Specific to the type of threats that this vulnerability causes, it's agnostic. يعني it's general. It doesn't take into account the particular threats that this vulnerability causes. Which in that case, it's only denial of service. It does not cause spoofing. Okay. So if we want to make this threat specific, okay, this. Particular value becomes inaccurate. Okay, so that's why we have to take the threat model into account. Maybe. Right. If we want to make it more accurate now, what we need to do is that we have to correlate these threats. Okay. With these weights. So we say that this this particular vulnerability causes denial of service. But it does not cause spoofing. Yeah, but I have to set this to a to zero, so, right? And I have to correlate this for all the vulnerabilities. So, for example, for VM2, we have D, we have I, we have T. Okay, we don't have S, so, and we don't have E. So, for VM2, if I see anything related to S, I need to 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 set it to zero. If I see anything related to E, I need to set it to Z. Because only I have a D and T and R. So I cannot cause any spoofing and I cannot cause any elevation of uh, 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 privilege. So that's what we need. You can set, you can, you can set handle spoofing all to zeros and best calculate based on the weights of the ones that are relevant to the, to, to, to the threats here. You can do that right away in, in one step. Yes, you can do that. Imagine. Do for this particular table. So if we set back, if we set these values to zero, so we see all, the spoofing is zero for all of them. So the red numbers here are the ones that we have set to zero based on these particular threats. So this back is after eliminating the irrelevant threats. So this becomes more accurate now. Because the vulnerabilities does not facilitate all the threats. واضح كده? Any question? So that's basically how we calculate the uh, uh, the risk for a particular. طبعا, of course, the topic is is a little bit يعني, uh, more complicated. So what about if you use multiple VMs on one host? What if you use a certain function of uh, over a distributed uh, network? So you have you have to calculate the risk for A path for a particular function, مثلا, that involves web service and it involves authentication, or web service and, مثلا, database server, or uh, 
authentication and database server. So you have to take into account the, 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 the nature of the function and based on that, calculate by the risk based on certain path. So you have to take all the vulnerabilities that, uh, that are uh, existing in, in this particular path. But for us, we'll stop at this point. So this is just basic information on how we evaluate the risk. Mashi? Quantifiably, how we quantify uh, the risk. So we have two components. The one component is the listed public vulnerabilities of the product that exists on this node. And these are, again, these are published. Okay? And the other component is the business requirements that tells you the weights for the stride threats looks like this based on some business requirements. Maybe from these two tables, we can calculate the risk based on relevant uh, uh, threats, and this will be the accurate calculation of uh, the risk. Any, uh, any questions? هو طبعا you can you can do that you can do the two steps in one if you want بس يعني if you don't want to a يعني uh, to make mistakes to make simple mistakes uh, it's uh, it's it's better to do it this way so you can على طول هنا any, uh, any questions طيب so so here this is the summary for this chapter we talked about the different types of intruders the uh, the, the misfeasor the uh, Kleinstein and so on. We talked about intrusion detection systems. Uh, we talked first about the uh, the, uh, intru the centralized intrusion detection systems. We talked about anomaly st statistical anomaly detection, and we talked about rule based. And then we uh, talked about the sorry. We talked about distributed intrusion detection based on the agent modules and how we distribute the agent modules in the network. We talked about honeypots, and honeypots also uh, uh, in a distributed way. And then we talked about password management last time. Uh, and today we talked about uh, security risk evaluation and how we quantify a risk of uh, a single uh, node in a distributed system based on the vulnerabilities and the weights which are defined by the business requirements. Meshi?